Hello and uh, welcome back to The Stronghold. I'm the Magi and today I thought I would use one of my excess draft tokens to do a premier draft remix for an artifact theme. Uh, I love everything about this concept. Um, really the only thing I wish is that uh, maybe there was a little less emphasis on newer cards, but I guess they're also doing that to attract primarily standard players because they still have an opportunity to add to their collection, etc., etc. My goal for today is going to be primarily to add value to this collection through the acquisition of older cards. Uh, I would also like to hit at least two wins, but we'll see how that goes. Um, sometimes you draft so much value, you don't really care about the wins, but the older packs the gems, there's a lot of opportunity to be had here. So uh, what do you say we get going? But before we get into all that, take just a moment to like, comment, and subscribe because that kind of thing really keeps this boat moving. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, right. All right, pack one, pick one, weather light. Um, pretty decent. I don't know why I would pass that up, to be honest. Uh, Alright, what do we got here? Obliterating Bolt, pretty decent, but kind of a new card. Not something I'm... Well, actually, I only have one copy of that. So, um, not terrible. Alright, let's see here. Uh, Essence of Extraction looks pretty strong. Not exactly splashable, though. Hulking Bloom, on the other hand, does look pretty strong if we wanted to go green. It's certainly an older card. Uh, Woodland Champion. Yeah, I think I do actually like that better, uh, at least from a value perspective. And this, sadly, I have almost everything. I think I like the Gremlins here. And I still think we got a pretty decent card there. Uh, Gleeful Demolition, you say. Uh, that is a newer card, but actually looks pretty good. Um, Arcbound Slasher is also pretty neat, but I think I'd rather have Gleeful Demolition here. That way if I can pick up some of those indestructible uh, lands, that would be a pretty nice combo. And functions pretty well with the Woodland Champion. I think we got to go Song Shaper there. Another Epic Confrontation. Uh, Deadly Dispute, also not bad, but obviously we're not really in black. I think in this case I just have to take the Epic, epic Confrontation. Uh, Byway Courier looks very strong for us here. The Raven Inspector is also a great card, but... Another Epic Confrontation? Wow. That's actually kind of surprising. Here I think I just take the bridge. I'm not sure that I'm playing it. Oh, look at that. Our friend the Blooming Hulk came back around. Sure, I'll take that, no doubt. Um, Guy's Gift or Scavenger? Well, I guess we're taking the Scavenger. We took too long thinking about it. That was probably the right choice, though. Uh, Guy's Gift is, is not really what we need when we already have two epic confrontations. 
And, uh, well, I guess we pick up an emergency weld. Uh, Kellen. Well, this could be nice if we uh, picked up auras and equipments. Uh, Drown and Icker are also really good, but... Uh, wow, I actually have a full playset of Kellens. How crazy is that? Um, but I still think it's good enough that we, we pick it up. I mean, we are going to get 40 gems back out of that, which helps bridge the gap a little bit on something like this and it's uh it's just really a lot of good there and probably worth splashing white if we do it uh otherwise just a 2-2 two -two double strike is pretty good uh sunder shaman looks kind of ridiculous here so uh i think that's where we gotta go but they are some pretty good two drops uh tusker I can't see any reason not to take the Tusker here, right? That card is just beats. Beats for days. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Mysteries? Underwall Mysteries? Yeah. We can't pass that up. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Evolving Wilds and Rabbit Battery, both really good. Another Bloom Hulk. Uh, but I think we're going to take the Evolving Adaptive here. We're ending up being a much stronger green deck in general. I think it's more valuable than Bloom Hulk number two. Uh, Welding Sparks here feels like the correct play. Arcbound Welp just feels really underpowered for four mana. I mean, you basically get a 2-2 flyer that gives its counters up to something else later. Um, Pladiumire seems quite strong and a, a card that I'm happy to have in this collection. Hmm. Nothing here that's super strong. I mean, honestly, I'm just going to take the land. Uh, Moonlit Key isn't anything super exciting. Bone Splitter isn't either. Uh, Weirding Word isn't. I mean, I guess Weirding Word gives us a, a splash option, maybe. Last minute regrets. Um, I mean, I guess we take the Kinsmith. Deck Helper so far is not doing anything really unexpected. Um, yeah, I think that would... Oh, God, another Blue Hole? Nobody is, is respecting that card. Um, I, I don't love the Metamorph here. I don't think it's worth splashing for the Metamorph. Uh, Borak, I think, is better. That last pick, in case you missed it, was the Dragon Wing Glider there. Uh, just too good to pass out. And uh, here, I think I need to take another Sunder Shaman. Oh, it was Kellen. That's right. That's what I wanted the white for. Uh, let's see here. Danith is pretty good. We're not really an equipment deck, though, to be perfectly honest. I might just take the Danitha just to have it. Or we could just go for another bridge. Hmm, I'm surprised that's not rated higher than it is. I think we will take it. We might end up cutting it, but. Uh, Mandible or Bridge Patrol. I think either one of those is actually pretty decent. I 
think we'll take... No, I think we take uh, the bridge patrol. There's just a limit to how much stuff we can feel good about splashing. Another Sunbar Shaman. This is insane. Um, courage in a Crisis or Blade Master. I'm going to take the Courage. Oh, no. Ornithopter of Paradise. That is, that is definitely a better pick there. Oh, look. We got another Indestructible Land in color. Seems really good. I think I'd rather have a courier there. Man, I'm not even sure what to cut on this, to be honest. I think we take another courage. How are we doing on creatures? 20? That's not bad. I guess we take a spider food. I don't think that is going to make the cut. In fact, honestly, I don't think uh, Ambitious Assault is either. So we've still got seven we need to cut. Um, it's not wanting me to run the Thorn Bridges. I think we give up the Kinsmith. There's actually quite a bit here they want us to cut, which feels a little weird. Like, it doesn't want us to run any of the Sundering Shamans. I mean, I agree, it's, it's hard to cast. But in this deck, it shouldn't be that hard. They also want us to cut the Kellen. Which doesn't feel right at all. I mean, we don't really need to splash white for it, though. Let's... So we could easily cut both of those. And yeah, I guess Kellen really doesn't fit our deck, to be honest. We, we didn't do a good job of uh, doing enchantments and things like that. Let's see, uh, the other lands we don't need. It wants us to cut our Ornithopter of Paradise, and we're not really splashing for a color, so that makes sense. So the other things that it wants me to cut are the Sundering Shaman. And... Oh, and the Bridge, which makes no sense to me whatsoever why we would cut that, particularly when we're running Gleeful Demolition. So I think we keep both of those. I don't think I'm real excited about Courage and Crisis. Let me see here. Wow, we just we got a lot of really good cards. That's uh that's what's going on here. That's why it's so hard to cut. Uh like Gremlin and Song Shaper are like two of our weaker cards and if we cut those we're below 17 so I don't really want to do that so uh, epic confrontation is our next weakest card or bloom hulk and I don't think we need two bloom hulks I think that's something we could cut And 
I think we cut one patrol. Where is Ambitious Assault? Where's it got that in here? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, Weirding Wood. That's something I want to cut. So what do we put back in for that? I think we cut both the patrols and put back in the Blooming Hulk. I think that fits what we're doing a little bit better. So let's see, how does the curve on this look? Um, not terrible. I don't know about the three Sundering Shamans, but I mean, it could be worthwhile. And then we just got some top end beats. So yeah, I feel okay about this. Let's take it for a spin. curve stuff going on here. I mean, we're basically not doing anything until turn three. But you know what? We're going to try it. Because after that, we get really fast and furious into our other stuff here. They just went an indestructible land base, huh? And I think I want to put the Blooming Hulk down before the Tusker, obviously. Yeah, I think the Tusker is the right call here. We'll swing for two, not that it uh, mattered on the proliferate there. I mean, next turn we can um, Borak and Epic Confrontation, depending upon what they play. That could be pretty solid. those uh, creatures with flash or artifacts that come in at flash speed. By the way, Courier's really not a big deal. That was kind of not cool.
Probably taking five here. I like it. I mean, that kind of puts them in the point of they have to block next turn or die. Sure. I mean, are we willing to give up one of these? Actually, I think we're going to push all three. They will probably chump and kill the mire, but the mire really isn't doing much for us at this point, so I'm okay with that. Kind of what I expected them to do. I mean, they could have double blocked one of the five fives. Sure. They don't have a lot of options to not die here. Sure. Little little courtesy damage. I'm with it. I mean, they've got a ton of clues. They really do. I don't see where they have anything here. Uh, that is win number one secured. I like that a lot. That feels really bad. So we're definitely keeping this. What are we putting back? I think mysteries. We just don't have as much clue synergy. And I think I'm actually going to play Gremlin on three and then uh, drop the weather light. Well, that was craptastic. They're just going to try and race here. What do 
we get? N nothing. Yeah, that's going to get pretty nutty. I do think we just go ahead and kill that. Where do they put it? Okay, they're going to put it on one of their tokens. That's a bit unusual, but not, you know, terribly so or anything. that shenanigans. Alright, we did actually get something that time around. That was pretty nice. So with the use of the mire, we can, uh, we can double spell next turn. Right? Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I will take three. before we start uh, playing things out. That's, uh, that's pretty darn good. Still hasn't quite made our Woodland Champion strong enough to do anything, but... We're looking to swing for 8 next turn, and that's pretty decent. I have no cards in hand. Okay. So, uh, let's block there. Block... Yeah, okay. He knew he was out. In short, we were going to have enough things to survive combat and not take lethal. So there's the two wins that we really needed for this. So pretty happy about that. But there's a lot of gravy here to be had. And we haven't taken a single loss. Knock on wood. That's me hitting my head. Um, in case the mic picked that up. I don't know. Um, at any rate, hopefully we can, uh, we can pick up some gravy here and feel really good about this event. Overlord Frank. Yes, indeed. Again, just really unfortunate. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we, we get our first loss. Um, well, actually, this could save us, maybe. Let's keep the five. 
We've got to get rid of the scavenger here. And I guess Epic Confrontation is the other card we got to get rid of, right? That is, that is not a two drop. Would have liked a two drop there, but now I got to draw a land. There's the third land, so that doesn't feel too bad. Can't can't do anything, but Courier does a lot to improve our board state next turn. And we got a pair of couriers, so that's that's pretty decent. I think we just hold up blocks here. So they didn't have an answer in hand. They went for the clue. That's a big boy. I think we're going to let that 1-1 one, one through. We'll go ahead and let them have the clue, or the treasure token, excuse me. Again, I think we just hold up blocks here until we can get some of these big boys out. We need to draw land. Perilous Mire, good stuff for them. Um, that's going to be a, a big old nope. I'd rather just take the one. Good gracious, we are we are just dying to no land here. But we did mulligan to five. That does all kinds of weird things. Sure. Okay, so we got we got something here. All right, that at least improves the board state a little bit. I still don't feel like we're the beat down and can attack here. They've just got a little too much going on. Mostly that Kinsmith. Ah, shoot. That hurts. So, I mean, I guess with the Investigate, we're, you know, not entirely drawing dead next turn. about some tokens. I mean, we're just going to die to the mire before it's over with. Hey, look at that. We got mana.
And again, I can't attack. I really want to, but they could just take five and then kill me on the swing back. So that's a problem for us. I guess worst case, next turn we get Weatherlight down, tap the Courier to start swinging with Weatherlight on subsequent turns. Tusker, well, shoot, I think that's game right there. Oh yeah, that's definitely game. Well, there's our first loss. Man, again, with the just terrible mana. I think we got a mulligan. Okay, a lot better. I think we keep, and I think we put back the mysteries here. I really need one of my two drops to come up here. Never mind. It's not going to matter, is it? I guess this is actually worth it. I mean, I guess that was kind of like drawing a two-drop. We could have obliterated Bolt there, too, but... the best thing we could have done there. We probably take two here and then send five back at them. Oh, I could have played the creature first and pumped the adaptive, but... So we gave up a damage there. gonna swing that? What? Why why would they do that? You know what? I'm just I'm gonna say there's some kind of trick at play here and not walk into that. We'll just take four damage and just kind of blitz the crap out of them next turn. There it is. That that was what we were wondering about. Actually, yeah, there's no reason to attack here, right? So we could have played the second Sundering Shaman there. We'd have been better off. That's funny that it actually made his thing smaller.
He might double up on the adaptive, but at this point I think I'm okay with that. Okay, win number three. So, yeah, I'm feeling really good about this at this point. Because that secures us a thousand gems. Got to love the Avatar. I mean, I don't love the no anything going on until, like, turn three. But then we just really start to explode on four, so I don't feel too bad about this. Now that I've said that, they're going to have, like, the super fast is it artifacts or something. drop would be nice here. That's a that's a big no from the universe. We get no two drops. Do we obliterate and bolt the courier next turn? Is that a thing worth doing? I think we at least try it, right? That appears to have worked. So, not the best thing in the world that could happen for us, but... Wow, that was, that was just beat.
do they swing the screen puff or not? That'll be the real question here. Wow. We just got absolutely destroyed. Proliferate does nothing for us. And I think Scream Pup just eats our lunch all day, right? Like, there's really not anything we can do about that. I mean, even a pumped up scavenger doesn't kill it, so... So if they have any kind of removal here, we just kind of die. Well, thank goodness their life total is back above 20. I was really worried about them there for a minute. All right, let's see what they want to do here. Uh, nothing. That's an interesting turn of events. and it takes five to move that equipment. So we wouldn't be able to cast any spells.
once again, it does nothing for me to proliferate. Um, yeah. That's a, that's a problem, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a problem. I think we just died a food consumption here, right? Should have left the mana open for the food token. I got greedy, play two creatures. Yep. All right, so that makes us three and two. We we got to do or die here. That's that's where we're at on this. But either way, I feel pretty good about this event. This actually doesn't feel too bad. I think we keep it. We'll lead off with the Song Shaper. Open Siren, sure. I didn't think they were going to block there, but it was worth a shot. Hard evidence, okay. Oh, I played the wrong land here. I was just going to say I want to get the Shaman down while uh, they essentially can't block, but... Really no reason to attack there. Maybe they will be kind enough to tap out again. Sure. Sure, I'm okay with that trade. I mean, they're almost certainly going to skull bomb my Dragon Wing back to my hand, right? I can live with that. So I could just swing for six here, but I don't think I love that. So I'm gonna swing for the four. They took it. And uh, now we'll land a Shaman.
Foundry Inspector's pretty good. And a Serpent. Not bad. Not bad at all. Kill the inspector there. We can continue taking damage from the Oaken Siren. I'm not terribly concerned about that. They have to deal with our shaman, and uh, surprise, surprise, we've got another one in hand. I think we just take it. Okay, that hurt a little bit, not gonna lie. I think we just hold here. Be patient, let it come to us. That sort of thing. doing something real mana specific here, but I'm not sure what. Okay, they drew some cards. I don't think that's going to do it for them. Because they can't even block with their Oaken Siren now. is win number four. That's pretty respectable. And now we just continue to go up packs if we can continue winning. This actually feels terrible. And this this honestly is not much better. Wow. I mean, do we go to five? I guess we do. So I guess we keep here. We gotta return two. I guess we return that. And I mean, as much as I hate to do it, I guess we gotta return the Tusker.
Uh, no blocks, thank you. Well, that's kind of a waste of a turn, but what are you going to do? We're going to throw out a giant shaman. That's what we're going to do. If he has an answer, he's going to use it. get wide. God, there's another screen puff, man. People are just killing it with that, aren't they? They just have all the board position at this point. Ah. We are saved. Um, still no reason to swing that. Makes sense. Can't blame me for that at all. Oh, and he's gonna swing the scream puff. That's interesting. He didn't have a way to save it. Let's just get some ground. That does nothing. Unfortunate. Um, yeah, there's not a lot I can do about that. Thanks. I think we just, I think we just died of the overrun here, probably. What is that? Eight. Uh, another six is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
So... Let's see, that's 7, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19. So no, that won't work. We'd have to go with this. And I think we survived at one. No, I miscounted somewhere. Okay. Well, that's some that's some stuff. They got us. As they say, math is for blockers. We had nothing left. But hey, still not too bad. Four wins, 1,400 gems, three packs. Gots to love it. Um, and some, some decent packs here, some things that uh, will benefit this account for sure. Uh, and in fact, I think, I think we're gonna go in and do a little mini pack open as well. Let's see what we got. Well, we got some double rare action. That's pretty good. Uh, ambition. Okay. Uh, Blood Hall Priest. Also not something I'm super excited about. I mean, Highland Lake is pretty good, but like we certainly have play sets of those. So nothing great out of that pack. Uh, let's see here. Well, I mean, we are getting some wild cards, so that's that's a thing. Um, and extra wild cards are always good. Uh, we do get a Mythic. Merfolk Trickster is a great card. Glad to have that. And, uh, well, yeah, I think that might be it there. So the wild cards, the Merfolk Trickster, and a Mythic that, honestly, I'm not terribly excited about. Okay, so there we go. Uh, make up your own mind. I don't know if this is something you want to do or not, but um, I think it certainly has potential, uh, although it does require a good balance of luck and skill. So, uh, you know, rate yourself accordingly. And before we go, I want to take just a moment to thank my totally awesome patrons for supporting me and allowing me to apply my passion into a community. And of course, before we go, I've got some suggestions for your next step. I've got some suggestions for your next step.